Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 38 says, we're not of those who draw back. Why don't you say that? Say, we're not of those who draw back. One more time, every campus, we're not of those who draw back. It says this specifically to perdition. The word perdition describes something ruined and rotten, something decomposing, whether it's an animal or a human body that has died and the nauseating scent that comes off of it. Paul was saying, we're not of those who draw back into lifeless, dead, nauseating, lifeless nothingness. Can you see it? That, that, that when we come into the things of God, if we draw back, it's, it's a nauseating thing. It's a lifeless thing. How many churches do you know that are dying or they're dead because somewhere along the way, a preacher refused to get up and say, hey, we're not of those who draw back. We're not of those who set back. That's not who we are. That's not who we're ever going to be. And I'll scream it to the rooftop because why? I love you enough. I want the best for you enough. I really do care about God's best for your life. And God's best is not of those who draw back. There's nothing in drawing back. There's no victory in drawing back. There, there's there's no, no, nothing that is great that God can do for you in the retreat. But focusing forward and going through the door in spite of the adversity is what God calls us to do.